So what you're seeing right now should be a simulation of night sky right now, if you were in Alameda, that's what you're seeing. And I think um, um, what a constellation would look like is if you, you know, I guess, you know, we are all, a lot of us are in the city, so it's a little bit harder to see the constellations. And it's, right now it's also cold outside, so uh, I don't really want to be outside. Oh, that was the Jupiter Saturn conjunction, uh, or it's still. And um, one of the constellations that you can still see, even in the city, is the Big Dipper. So if you um, kind of look around, look somewhere around, in the northwardly direction, and you look around for a bit. Um, I think uh, if you've never seen, as in seen as in recognized the Big Dipper, then it, it could take some time because I remember when I first uh, recognized the Big Dipper in the sky. It's just that um, how big it was because I've seen it in the pictures, photos, but. Um, Wait, is the Big Dipper out in the sky, northward? Uh, it should be somewhere here. Why can I find it? Uh, in... <laughs> um, let me try advancing the time a little bit because it should be somewhere here. Um, so one of the things you can do with the simulation is you can just uh, uh, cheat with the time. Not cheat, you can manipulate time. Uh, let's see here. Sister, um, ah, yeah, yeah. Big Dipper wasn't uh, in the. It hasn't risen yet. Okay, so let's say somewhere, sometime closer towards midnight. Uh, it, you are looking at the uh, northern sky, then, um, then this is the Big Dipper, and uh, and I think the the picture in the computer screen doesn't quite do it justice because when you look at it, it's a quite a big constellation. So, uh, but you know, this is constellation. That's a, so with the constellation labels and uh, constellation lines, <laughs> I guess lines actually make it a little bit more confusing. So let me get rid of it. But when we talk about constellations, uh, this is what we are talking about, a uh, grouping of stars. And sometimes there's a little bit of an overlap between asterism and constellation. Big Dipper technically is an asterism. It's a recognizable grouping of stars that's not a constellation. The actual constellation is Ursa Major, that um, the full constellation, you know, it's kind of, how do you see bear in that? I don't know. Um, so that's a constellation. And when we talk about star clusters, um, if you're just doing naked eye observation of night sky, you wouldn't recognize clusters. To see clusters, you need a telescope. You actually need a quite uh, powerful telescope. Uh, so one of the benefits of this, um, this uh, uh, planetarium software is that it's, uh, it's also an interactive database. What I can do is I can search. Uh, and I think there's a list of things. And one of the list of things I can use is, I think there's a list of clusters, not clusters of galaxies. I want star clusters. Uh, is it called the star clusters here? Oh uh, yeah, star cluster. <laughs> uh, let me look for a globular cluster because they have a quite distinctive shape that your textbook will talk about. Uh, I, I don't really recognize any of these designations because I'm more of an amateur astronomer than professional one. Uh, let me see if I can find one that uh, has more <laughs> descriptive uh, uh, description than NGC 2011. Um, so uh, none of them say global, do any of them say globular? They don't say globular. Let's see here, Antares. Uh, let me do Antares cluster. Think, all right, I'm gonna get rid of the ground because I can do that uh, <laughs> with uh, this software, yeah. So Antares cluster is, uh, it's named after the star, which um, is in the, is it Scorpio? Uh, 
constellation label. Yes, it's the Scorpius constellation. Antares is the, the one of the brighter stars in that constellation. So, so, uh, so this is the constellation, the grouping of stars, and the cluster itself. When you are looking at it um, with naked eye, you you won't really see it. You need the telescope to get a view that looks closer to this. Wait, yeah, there it is. So this is the, um, I, I think this probably comes from something like Hubble database. So, okay, this is not a very distinctive cluster. So unless, I don't know what that is, yeah. So, uh, so let me look for a better, more distinctive looking cluster that um, shows better what um, cluster looks like. I saw one before, uh, crab, is it crab? No. Um, close to the nebula, no. Um, hmm. Thought I saw, maybe I'm looking in the wrong list. Um, Hmm, let me see if there's another list uh, I can use. Because um, I think globular clusters are easier to kind of recognize as, as oh, that's globular cluster. So uh, that's what I'm looking for. Mm. Uh, Open star cluster, I'm pretty sure that's not what I'm looking for. Um, ah, globular star clusters, <laughs> there it is. And I think I was looking at earlier uh, as I was preparing a crab globular cluster. Um, and that has, it's, uh, um, yeah, it's, again, I'm, the, the reason the sun is over there is because there's a ground that I've hidden so that I can actually look through the earth. And so this uh, cluster is in the uh, constellation of, uh, oh, it's still in Scorpius. I guess it's right near the other cluster that I was looking at before. So when I zoom in, um, oh, yeah. So this is what a star cluster looks like. It's a... Uh, it's only when you are looking at it with a high powered telescope that you can see what looks like a single star is not single star. It's a whole collection of stars. And um, you know, a lot of work goes into individually identifying these stars. I don't know if they are, nothing's coming up as I'm clicking, but this is a, a globular uh, star cluster. And in that star cluster, so with the constellations, these um, stars that are in the constellation, you know, constellation of Scorpius, um, they're not related to each other at all. It's just some random grouping of stars that we put together. And, uh, you know, the Antares and the star that looks next to it, they are quite, uh, we, uh, it's having me, uh, <laughs> so um, this is, you know, even in our night sky, they are quite far away. And um, even if they were at the same distance from Earth, they are actually quite far away from each other. Um, so the stars in a constellation, they have real, almost, a, well, they have no relationship to each other other than that. That's how we decide to divide up our night sky. Stars in a cluster, they are related to each other. They, um, and it's easier to see it in a, a, something like a globular cluster. It, they, um, it, sometimes it, it, they come from the same collection of interstellar gas or same collection of a nebula, a stellar nursery. So they, you can, so it's reasonable to make the assumption that they were formed around the same time. So, uh, but so this is what cluster looks like, and it's uh, you need a telescope to actually properly show it. 